See if I give it to him. Look, Dad! Heavens, boy! Did you pocket someone else's property again? Haven't we discussed your kleptomania problem in depth? You put that back right now, young man. Right now! What got it for you? Feed the fish. Hands off the ornamental fish. Aw, oh, man. Can I add to it? Look, Dad! Heavens, boy! Have you been lying to strangers again in order to swindle them out of their hard-earned property? Haven't we had a long talk about right and wrong? You put that back right now, young man. Right now! Look, Dad! Heavens, boy! Have you divided some innocent woman's mind into three parts again? Again? How did you know that? Th that was supposed to be a joke. Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that, that was a good one. <laughs> well, I guess we don't talk to Dad. So what do I need for? Just a second. I'll be with you right away. Oh, great and almighty Mathulu. Your faithful servant has found you another sacrifice. Moginox aprixidur dobidum padrex. Barador extra cheese. Run, Rufus. Yes. Run. Yes. Huh. Not a bad place. Here I am. Please excuse the delay. Ah, oh, no problem. How can I help you? So, what have you got? Well, the dinner menu applies for the restaurant. Here at the takeout counter, we mainly serve platypus burgers. Uh, I hope they're not too greasy. I would hate to ruin my perfect body. Oh, in that case, I'd better ask. Oh, great and wise Maxulu, the sacrifice wishes to know whether our burgers will make him fat. Ravanek cha, Ravanek kam cha, Koror all natural. Ah, right. Our management would like to assure you that we use nothing but choicest ingredients in our products. And all the essential vitamins are provided by free-range lettuce leaves. Just make your choice from the menu. There are three menu options to choose from. Plus, you can modify your choice if you like. It's all explained on the menu. What a romantic place. You think so? Oh, yeah. The view, the old town. All that's missing is children at play. Oh, uh, one moment, please. I think he's on to us. He noticed the missing children. <laughs> Borondeor Satinav. Mumble schnumble grumble bombs. Oh, you know, oh Lord of Darkness, sometimes I find you downright scary. Here I am again. Anything else I can do for you?
So what's the deal with these fortune cookies? Actually, I'm not really sure myself. Eh, that's no problem. The sacrifice just asked about the fortune cookies, my lord. Meteor pan zuzex padino muror patidana. La paridox tormentor. <laughs> Enslave the mortals. Right on. And here I am again. The fortune cookies are free, courtesy of the house. And with a little luck, you may even win a trial membership in the Platypus Club. Hooray. Does, does your dinner menu include anything besides platypus? I just need to check that out. Uh, please excuse me for a moment. He's asking about the dinner menu, so what should I tell him? Molesto nime polidor. Pollux veritor. I see. No, sir, I'm sorry. As long as we have a good supply, all our dishes will be made from platypus. Uh, nothing for me right now. As you like. I tried my best, old oh, nameless one. He just wouldn't stand on the trapdoor. Noctus porem pastifidor. Yes, I also think he'll be back. Great service. All right, then. I think I need to figure this out. But I don't have any seeds. I need the fortune cookies. No. Wait a minute. Big drink. Is this your order? Yes. Why? Well, do you even have enough money? 
Uh, I mean, the, the way you're dressed and all. No, you're right. Sorry, it's all my fault. Yeah, I don't. I uh, never. My stuff is filthy enough anyway. I don't need to drag it through the dirt. Considering that Crane supposedly owns only things he really needs, his junk is awfully useless. I thought he was just bragging. That may be just dirt, but it's no worse than the rest of this. This spade knows how to behave better than that darn rake. Considering that Crane supposedly, I thought he was the ashes of Crane's mother. And before anyone asks, it will all or become total. Considering I thought he Considering, considering, I thought he. Voila, a zebra fish. So I'm not going to use the camera. Into your eyes, I'm fondly gazing. You're not a platypus. <gasps> Amazing! Your legs are short. Your nose is flat. I must admit, I fancy that. Chief man. I like your pretty face so well and your sweet platypusy smell. Still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Friends? Oh! Blah, blah, blah. Ugh, rats! I just passed out again. I didn't even get his answer. Checking from me getting lost. I don't know how that. Out! Oh! Huh. I must have. Hey, so this is what. There it is. It's even at least. That doesn't need to be tied up. I like the feeling when it bounces back and forth. There it is. It's even at least. There it is. It's even at least. My stuff is already s a small reminder of all the amusing fires my coat has survived. That doesn't need to be. I like the feel. There's no need to. I want to prepare a brain operation, not open an ice cream parlor or whatever it is that you need clean stuff for. Ah, that's already waxy enough. Note to self, don't carry used cotton swabs around in your coat. That already has enough crumbs on it. You know, I should think about a crumb tray for my coat. My stuff is all... A small reminder of all... My stuff is filthy and I don't need to... Never do. There it is. It's even at least.
Let's see what happens. You should always keep an open flame in your overcoat. You should always keep an open flame in your overcoat. Um, okay. No, never again. Never, never again. <laughs> Where did my golden dragon of invisibility go? I must have lost it somewhere. Fuck. I wonder if I can tamper with the periscope. I can't while someone's watching. Oh, no, I can't. You again. I told you to beat it. I did. I am one with the shadows. Whoosh. Are you referring to your five o'clock shadow? The way you stomp around, I would notice you even if you were hidden, using the golden dragon of invisibility from Gilligan's gadget shop. How can you tell me how to use it? Yeah! Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> Safety. Caution is with the cup. I, uh... I, uh... Finally making some progress. I uh haven't gone back here in a while. That was a reminder that you are not to poke around in my things. Okay, reminder heard and ignored. Rufus? It's okay. There's also the freeze here. I'll come back to it if I need a couple of ice cubes for my drink. Come back to. It's gonna be something. That doesn't need to be cool, even if it is starting to smell. 
I'll come back to it. It's gonna be something. I'll come back to it if I. I'll come back to it. I'll come back. I'll come back to this if I ever need ground frost. I'll come back to it if I need a couple of. I don't know. I'll come back to it. Hello again. Ah, Rufus, how are you getting on? Okay, I've been having problems persuading gold. That kind of woman wants to be impressed, Rufus. You need to show her who's the alpha animal. There's no time to visit the zoo. We need to repair her brain, remember? Uh, right. We really have to put Goal back together again. I'm working on it. Simply persuade her to undergo the surgery. That is, all three versions of her. Use the remote to switch between cartridges. Once you have convinced all three, send them to my lab. I'll see to the rest. What went wrong? Looks like Gilligan actually palmed off the wrong cartridges on you. Oh, what a scoundrel! Gold's mind is now distributed over three cartridges. Each cartridge contains different aspects of her character. Well, it's no big deal. If you know one side of her, you know them all. Um, not really. Nice office. Gee, thanks, Rufus. Now, I would have furnished it a bit differently, but it's still not bad. Yes, I know. The shielding of the generator resonates rather awkwardly with the induction field of the magnetic solenoid coil in the main capacitor. But what would you do if you had oscillation frequencies of 6 gigahertz and more with a constant 30 teslas? Oh, yeah, um, now, uh, uh let me see, um, I would, uh, move the generator a little more to the left. But with this kind of field intensity, wouldn't that be too dangerous? I would hate to accidentally create a neutron star in my office. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well... You know what we're talking about, don't you? Of course I know. And I still say, more to the left. Hmm. If you think so, have you noticed anything else? Can I borrow some tools from you? Go ahead, help yourself. All I need to do now is make a few fine adjustments. For that, I just need a hammer and some chewing gum. Yeah, sounds good. What's that funny apparatus in the lock next door? Don't you mess with that, kid. It is part of an experiment designed to revive dead brain tissue by means of well-aimed electrical impulses. But there are a few obnoxious side effects that so far I haven't been able to remedy. What kind of side effects? The electrical field is so strong that space will fold around the generator, and the resulting creases are really hard to iron out. What's the freezer for? That's where I keep the spare brains for my operations. And my lunchbox, of course, but right now it's empty. Plenty of ice, no brains, and nothing to eat? <laughs> Sounds like a fashion show to me. <laughs> My office was cooler, and bigger. Really? The one in your ex-girlfriend's house? Yep. Not only bigger, there were also more... blinky things. And, and it also had more of those, those, those things next to the door. Light switches? Precisely. I'll be off then. Quite. Maybe now he'll let me open a drawer. <coughs> it's okay.
Not necessary. I've got all the time I need. Does it have juice? Don't play around with the equipment. If you aren't careful, you can open a wormhole. That's what I want to do. Let's a do little it. more power here certainly couldn't hurt. Don't play around with it. If you want, grumble, grumble, grumble. I'd rather wait until the last second for acts of desperation. It, they just work better that way. I have too much time on my hands if I'm starting to fiddle with Doc's clocks. There, now time's running out again. That's the way I like it. A little more power. Don't play around with the equipment. If you aren't careful, grumble. I'm gonna do that again. I noticed something in the skeleton. A little more power here. Don't play there around is. with the equipment. If you aren't careful, grumble. It's got a fork in it. Still can't actually do anything. The question is, how do I get money for those meal? I can't revive the fish that way. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll find another way. Revive? It's too late. It's already dead. Oh. There's no need to... I want to... Pre or whatever. I can't revive... Uh, I can always bury it once it starts to smell worse than the rest of my stuff. But we're nowhere near that point. I already hooked... Why don't bars ever have anything useful on... Like cayenne pepper or rat poison? It should be possible to build some... A coffee spoon for game programmers? Mm, no. It should be pop A fully automatic fishing rod with automated targeting? Mm, no. Or a landing net, perhaps? I'm sure I could come up with a super... But I just don't have the heart for it right now. I already hooked... 